I'm going to a party later and I've been asked to make a salad. So I'm gonna make a really, really great edamame salad with brown rice. So stick around and let's make it together. I love edamame and it's something that I don't use very often. It's something that I always order at Japanese restaurants, but I was at Costco today and they had these big boxes of frozen edamame. So I bought them and now I'm going to make a salad with them. And they're actually so awesome. They're just young soybeans. So they're really packed with protein and they're just kind of crunchy and really, really nice. I'm going to start by making the dressing. All it is is a quarter cup of soy sauce. and a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. And I always make this kind of thing just in a measuring jug so that I can, you know, measure as I go. When, when I measure, that is, which isn't always. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm actually gonna measure the sesame oil because I don't like going overboard with sesame oil. I find it just ruins things. And then about a quarter cup of any neutral oil. So this is going to come up to like just over three quarters. And then I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of sugar just to kind of round this whole thing out. The sugar will dissolve as it sits. Last thing for the dressing is some ginger and garlic. So I'm going to take two cloves of garlic and about this size of a piece of ginger and just grate them in. I'm always careful when I'm going to use a microplane with garlic, not to like smash them too hard. Otherwise they won't grate very easily. And the ginger, you know what? I'm a big ginger peeler, but this ginger looks pretty good and it's not too crazy looking. So I'm just going to leave the skin on and give it a great. I remember the first time I was introduced to edamame. It was actually watching TV. And if you remember, there were some shows back in the day on the learning channel. Uh, one of them was called a dating story and then there were also other story themed shows like a makeover story i was a pretty big fan of those when i was in high school and i remember one episode of the dating story where they were in la and the girl said to the dude do you like edamame <laughs> and he didn't know what it was and i didn't know what it was but i had heard of it and i was like "Ooh, i need to figure out what that is right away and then i learned and then it wasn't too long after that, that we started seeing it, you know, pop up in grocery stores and more sushi places opening up, started opening up. And now it's kind of like a household thing. You can buy it at Costco. If you don't have edamame for the salad though, you can definitely use so many other things. <laughs> like you could just use peas, green peas. The green color is kind of nice. So I would stick with the green theme. But you could just, I'm adding some cucumber to this. You could even just add like more cucumber. You can really, really just do whatever you want, but it is an edamame salad. So if you're omitting the edamame, I would definitely call it something else. <laughs> mm. Ooh, so zippy. So good. Okay. So now we're just going to put the whole salad together. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is my favorite bowl lately. I've been using it a lot. So for the edamame, like I said, I bought mine at Costco, but they came in the pods, which means that I had to shell them all. Um, but what you're looking for is about three cups of like beans, actual edamame beans, once they're out of the shell. So you can buy them out of the shell, which is really helpful. This process took me quite a little while to pop them all out of the pods. But the other weird thing about this Costco edamame is that they were like in microwavable bags. So I just like chucked the whole bag in the microwave for three minutes or three and a half minutes um, to steam them. And it worked pretty well. I don't know. I don't usually cook food that way, but it, it worked. <laughs> so anyway, so about three cups of edamame going into the bowl. And then I'm going to add about three cups of brown rice. 
For the brown rice, I cooked it in the Instant Pot, actually. So I had two cups of raw brown rice, and this is short grain, but you could definitely use long grain. And then I added two and a half cups of water, cold water, big pinch of salt, probably close to a teaspoon. And then I cooked it on the Instant Pot on full high pressure for 15 minutes, and then I just let it do its gradual release and it cooked perfectly. It's kind of clumped together now because it's been cooling down for quite a while and I stuck it in the fridge, but it's gonna separate when I add the dressing and all that. I'm gonna move this aside for a second and chop my cuke. And I have one long English cuke here, a bit of a bad spot on it. And I'm just gonna cut this into little cubes basically. You can cut them however you want. Do whatever suits your mood. Actually, I'm going to do them on diagonal cubes, which is kind of fun. So it's not cubes at all. It's more like little diamond shapes. I'm a big fan of the bias cut in general in most cooking. And if you've watched a number of uh, these episodes before, you probably know that I'm generally a big fan of peeled cuke, but I kind of wanted the dark green color here. So I went, I went unpeeled this time. And then I'm gonna add an entire bunch of green onions because this is really the only kind of herbal component that we have. And I love the brown rice in salad. I love how chewy it is and it really gives some nice bulk and kind of hardiness to the salad, but I still want there to be a good ratio of veg, you know? And I'm really not afraid of this being too oniony because I love onion. <laughs> I don't think there are gonna be any little kids at this gathering. Yeah, so I'm going to a party. I'm so excited. I think it'll be, I don't know, 10, 15 people, you know, all within the regulations. So I think this salad will be a real treat for us. So that's the base of the salad right there. And then I'm just gonna add in the dressing. And it might look like a lot, but trust me, it'll absorb and you're gonna want that flavor. And then I'm just gonna give it a really good toss. So I'm like halfway through getting ready and I realized that the entire point of me making this salad originally was because I really, really wanted to use up this pickled ginger that I got from, for like our sushi night the night before. I love pickled ginger and I was like, It'd be so fun to put pickled ginger into a salad. And then the edamame and the brown rice and everything was kind of built around that idea. And then I realized that I just completely forgot to include it in the video. So it will be in the recipe. Maybe I'll call it optional because it's really, really good with or without it. But I'm gonna just add some pickled ginger now. Pretend it's been in there the whole time. Okay, thanks. <laughs> For those of you wondering if you can make this in advance, I would recommend not to, but instead I would just say prepare all the components. So cook your brown rice, get that cooled, sitting in the fridge waiting for you, get all your edamame, good to go, defrosted, steamed, whatever, and you can make the dressing ahead of time. Um, you can even cut the cuke ahead of time, but wait till, you know, soon before you're gonna eat it to actually toss it together. Just because the cucumber gets a bit mushy after a bit and things just kind of lose their oomph. So I'm gonna give this a quick taste.
It's really good. It's really packed with flavor. And even as it just sits for a few minutes here, the rice is just gonna soak up that dressing and it's gonna be great. To finish her off, I'm just gonna chuck on a ton of sesame seeds, like a lot, a lot, a spoon. Like as many as you want, but I'm thinking that I might use all of these. <laughs> and then some black sesames too, because they're so gorge. And then I love togarashi, which is this like red pepper, orange peel, poppy seed uh, sprinkle stuff. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on top. It gives it a little bit of a heat. And that's it. That's the salad. That's my real easy edamame salad. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, wish me luck with my social skills at the party later because um, it's been a while and I'm definitely out of practice. I'd love to know if you have cooked with edamame much at home or if it's kind of a mystery ingredient for you. It's definitely a great one and it's so available now that it, you can find it almost anywhere and it's really, really tasty. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this show and you like coming back every week, I'd love it if you would subscribe. And if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit the like button. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.